Welcome back to Tiny Tasks, Big Benefits. I'm your host, Luna Fuentes. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by life's constant demands and wondered how some people just seem to stay cool, calm, and collected? The secret isn't just a matter of luck or external circumstances, but actually lies in how they care for their inner selves. This superpower is rooted in a profound yet often overlooked aspect of our well-being, mental and emotional self-care. Mental and emotional self-care are critical components of our overall well-being. These aspects of self-care directly impact our mental clarity, emotional stability, stress management, self-esteem, relationships, and our overall happiness. Understanding their importance helps us to prioritize practices that nurture our mental and emotional health, leading to a more balanced and fulfilling life. Mental and emotional self-care, though related, serve very different purposes. Mental self-care involves activities that enhance cognitive functions like memory and focus, like reading or problem-solving exercises or games. Mental self-care is vital for maintaining cognitive function and clarity, our ability to think clearly, make informed decisions, and solve problems is closely tied to our mental health. Neglecting mental self-care can lead to overwhelming stress, anxiety, and negative thought patterns, impairing our daily functioning. By prioritizing mental self-care, we enhance cognitive performance, leading to better decision-making and a more focused, productive mindset. On the other hand, emotional self-care is essential for managing our emotions and developing emotional intelligence. Emotional self-care allows us to understand and regulate our emotions which allows us to give thoughtful responses rather than impulsive reactions. This regulation is crucial for maintaining healthy relationships and achieving success in various facets of life. When we care for our emotional well-being, we become more attuned to our own feelings and to the feelings of others, enhancing empathy and our communication skills. While mental self-care keeps the mind sharp and clear, emotional self-care ensures the emotional balance and resilience. Both are necessary for overall well-being, and they support each other to maintain a healthy life. The role of mental and emotional self-care in stress reduction has a significant impact. Chronic stress can lead to severe health problems, including heart disease, hypertension, and mental health disorders such as depression and anxiety. Self-care practices promote relaxation and a sense of control, which help to mitigate the effects of stress. By prioritizing our mental and emotional health, we build resilience against stress improving our overall quality of life, and even our longevity. Mental and emotional self-care also play a critical role in forming and sustaining healthy relationships. Our interactions with others are deeply influenced by our mental and emotional state. When we are balanced and centered, we can engage with others more authentically and compassionately. Neglecting self-care can lead to emotional instability, straining our relationships, and hindering meaningful connections with others. And 
Talk about a big benefit. Mental and emotional self-care greatly impacts our overall sense of fulfillment and happiness. Investing in our mental and emotional health creates this foundation for a more satisfying and meaningful life. This kind of self-care provides the emotional stability and mental clarity needed to pursue a life aligned with our values, and aspirations. It allows us to explore our passions, cultivate our interests, and connect with our purpose. First, we'll jump into the pool of mental self-care. To really understand it, let's first discuss what it is not. Mental self-care is not excessive screen time, Spending long hours on social media, watching television, or playing video games without moderation can lead to mental fatigue and actually increase our stress levels. It's not avoidance. Ignoring or avoiding stressors and problems rather than addressing them can worsen mental health issues, leading to increased anxiety and stress. It's not overworking. Continuously pushing oneself to work without taking appropriate breaks or resting can result in burnout and negatively impact our mental health. It's not substance dependence. Using alcohol, drugs, or other substances as a means to cope with our stress or emotional pain can be harmful and can lead to further mental health problems. It's not social isolation. Although social isolation can feel like self-care, withdrawing from in-person social interactions and neglecting relationships with friends and family over time can lead to feelings of loneliness and depression. So then, what is mental self-care? Mental self-care involves intentional actions aimed at maintaining and enhancing our mental health. It's taking the kind of actions that help promote cognitive clarity, emotional stability, and resilience against stress, like mindfulness practices, activities like meditation, and deep breathing exercises that focus on cultivating present moment awareness will help to reduce stress and can help enhance our mental clarity. It can be intellectual engagement, engaging in activities that stimulate the mind, like reading, learning new skills, or participating in intellectually stimulating conversations. All of these things help keep our minds sharp and active. It can include healthy boundaries, establishing and maintaining personal and professional boundaries, ensures that we do not overextend ourselves, and this helps to protect our mental health by balancing our needs with external demands. It can be creative outlets. Engaging in creative activities such as writing, painting, or playing music allow for emotional expression and mental relaxation, serving as a constructive outlet for stress and creativity. It can also be getting professional support. Seeking therapy or counseling provides a safe space to explore our thoughts and emotions, develop coping strategies, and address any mental health issues with the guidance of a trained professional. Incorporating effective mental self-care practices into our daily routines requires intentional effort and commitment. Here are a few suggestions for practical mental self-care strategies. Establish a routine. Developing a consistent schedule that includes designated times for work, relaxation, and leisure can provide us with a sense of order and predictability. This structure helps manage stress and ensures that many aspects of your life are balanced. Practicing mindfulness. Incorporating these mindfulness techniques like meditation 
deep breathing or body scanning into your routine can help cultivate a calm and focused mind. These practices ensure presence and awareness, reducing stress and enhancing mental clarity. Staying physically active and prioritizing our sleep habits. We discussed this in last week's episode, Play, Eat, and Dream. Check it out for the goods on why this is so important to us. Another good habit is to manage your screen time. Being mindful of how much time you spend on screens, which includes phones, computers, and televisions, can protect your mental health. Limiting screen time, especially before bed, and taking regular breaks can reduce mental fatigue and overstimulation. You want to engage in enjoyable activities. Pursuing hobbies and activities that you love can provide a break from everyday stressors, whether it's painting, cooking, gardening, or playing a sport. Engaging in enjoyable activities or habits can bring mental rejuvenation. You want to set manageable goals. Breaking down larger goals into smaller achievable steps can help you stay motivated and will help you avoid feeling overwhelmed. Celebrating these small achievements and victories along the way can boost your self-confidence and give you a sense of accomplishment. And of course, seek professional support. If you're facing significant mental health challenges, seeking the help of a mental health professional can be incredibly beneficial. Therapists and counselors can offer guidance, support, and give you effective strategies for managing mental health issues. Now we're going to take a look at emotional self-care and what the heck it is. Emotional self-care is a topic that is not commonly talked about. It involves the deliberate practice of nurturing one's emotional state, understanding and managing our emotions, and developing healthy coping mechanisms to deal with stress and life's challenges. Emotional self-care is foundational to our mental health, building resilience, and improving the quality of life. One of the primary reasons emotional self-care is crucial is that it has a direct impact on mental health. It allows individuals to process and express their emotions in a healthy way, preventing the buildup of stress and anxiety. When emotions are ignored or suppressed, they can contribute to various mental health issues like depression and anxiety disorders. By engaging in emotional self-care, we address our feelings constructively, which promotes psychological well-being and helps to reduce the risk of mental health crisis. Emotional self-care is crucial for building resilience, which is the ability to quickly recover from challenges and adapt to stress. Regular self-care practices strengthen coping mechanisms and provide a more stable emotional foundation. This resilience helps us to manage daily stresses and prepares us for the major life events that happen to all of us. Research shows that resilience can be developed through consistent practice and positive behavioral changes. The importance of emotional self-care also reaches out to our physical health. There's a well-documented connection between emotional well-being and physical health, and we discuss this in depth in the episode Play, Eat, and Dream. Emotional self-care is also important for maintaining healthy interpersonal relationships. Emotionally balanced individuals are better equipped to communicate effectively, empathize with others, and handle interpersonal conflicts. Emotional intelligence, which involves understanding and managing our emotions, 
and recognizing and influencing the emotions of others is crucial for healthy relationships. High emotional intelligence contributes to more successful interactions in both personal and professional settings. Thus, emotional self-care can lead to more meaningful and harmonious relationships. All of these benefits also contribute to our overall life satisfaction and our happiness. When we prioritize our emotional health, we are more likely to experience positive emotions and a greater sense of fulfillment. Here are several suggestions to help improve your emotional self-care practices. Engage in creative activities. Creative activities like painting, writing, music, or crafting can be very therapeutic and provide us with an emotional outlet. Engaging in these activities allows you to express your emotions in a healthy way and can serve as a distraction from stress. Creativity can also boost your mood and provide a sense of accomplishment. Build and maintain social connections. Strong social connections are crucial for emotional health. Work on building and maintaining your relationships with friends, family, and colleagues. Spend quality time with loved ones. Engage in meaningful conversations and seek support when you need it. This provides a sense of belonging and reduces our feelings of isolation and loneliness. Set healthy boundaries. Setting boundaries is essential for protecting your emotional health. Establishing boundaries helps prevent burnout and ensures that you have the time and energy to take care of yourself and others. For practical help on how to do this, check out May 2024's theme of boundaries, starting with the podcast episode, Where is Your Line in the Sand? Practice self-compassion. Treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you offer a friend. Self-compassion involves acknowledging your struggles without judgment and recognizing that we all make mistakes. Develop healthy coping mechanisms. Identify and practice healthy coping mechanisms to deal with stress and emotional challenges. These can include deep breathing exercises, progressive muscle relaxation, or spending time in nature. Try to avoid unhealthy coping mechanisms like excessive drinking, smoking, or overeating, as they can just worsen emotional issues. Maintain a gratitude journal. Keeping a gratitude journal helps shift your focus from negative to the positive aspects of your life. Each day, write down three things you're grateful for, and this practice can help you cultivate a more positive mindset, which will increase happiness and reduce stress. Develop a support network. Create a support network of trusted individuals, and this can provide a safety net during challenging times. This network might include friends, family, mentors, or support groups. Having a diverse support network means you have multiple people to turn to when you need advice, encouragement, or just a listening ear. So, taking all of this into account, what is the tiny task that will give you big benefits for your mental and emotional well-being? It's a mental health walk. No doubt you've heard all about these types of walk, especially recently, as they seem to be all over social media. But this one has been designed and uh, engineered with a twist that will give you real and big benefits, more than just taking a break and taking a walk. Step one, prepare for the walk. Choose your location by selecting a location that's peaceful and free from heavy traffic. Parks, nature trails, or quiet neighborhoods are ideal. You want to set your intention. Before you start, set an intention for your walk. 
It could be something like, I will use this time to connect with my emotions, or I will focus on being present. Step two, start walking mindfully. Begin with deep breathing. As you start walking, take a few deep breaths to center yourself. Inhale deeply through your nose, hold for a few seconds, and exhale slowly through your mouth. Walk at a comfortable pace. Maintain a pace that feels comfortable. This is not about cardio or heart rate or exercise, but is about being mindful and aware. Step three, engage your senses. Focus on your surroundings. As you walk, pay attention to what you see, what you hear, what you smell, and what you feel. Notice the color of the trees, the sounds of the birds, the scent of flowers, and the feeling of the ground beneath your feet. Stay present. If your mind starts to wander, gently bring your focus back to your surroundings and to your breath. Step four, reflect on your emotions. After walking for about 10, 15 minutes, find a quiet spot to pause. Stand still and take a few deep breaths. Ask yourself some reflective questions. Consider the following types of questions to reflect on your emotional state. What emotions am I feeling right now? Are there any particular thoughts or concerns that are occupying my mind? And how does my body feel in response to these emotions? Step five, resume walking with awareness, continuing to focus on your breath and your surroundings. As you walk, be aware of any changes in your emotions or thoughts. Embrace any and all emotions that arise. Allow yourself to feel any emotions that come up without judgment. Recognize them and acknowledge their presence. Lastly, end with a moment of gratitude. Find a final spot to pause. Toward the end of your walk, find a quiet spot to pause and take a few deep breaths. Express gratitude. Reflect on something that you're grateful for at this moment. It could be the beauty of nature, the time that you've taken for yourself, or any other positive aspect of your life. Set the intention for the rest of your day. Consider how you want to carry this awareness and mindfulness from your walk into the rest of your day by setting a simple intention like, I will stay present or I will be kind to myself. We've designed this mental health walk to help you connect with your emotions and your mental state in a mindful, non-intrusive way. By engaging your senses, reflecting on your feelings, and practicing gratitude, you can enhance your emotional awareness and overall well-being. In today's crazy-paced world, committing to mental and emotional self-care is a powerful act of self-respect and resilience. You might even consider it an act of defiance. It's about recognizing that our well-being is important and taking intentional steps to nurture our inner selves. It's not about occasional pampering, but about building lasting habits that bring peace and strength. By committing to mental and emotional self-care, we reclaim our mental clarity and our emotional equilibrium which allow us to engage with the world more authentically and more compassionately. By investing in mental and emotional self-care practices, you will not only improve your mental and emotional clarity, you'll create a strong foundation for the happier and healthier life that you deserve.
If today's conversation sparked a flame of insight for you, or if by using these tiny tasks, you're seeing big benefits in your daily life, don't keep that to yourself. Help spread the word by hitting like, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Your ratings and reviews not only brighten our day, but also help others find us so they too can start transforming their tiny tasks into big benefits. Every little bit of support helps keep this show alive and kicking. Thank you so much for tuning in. And remember, it's tiny tasks that eventually lead to big benefits in your life's journey.